And look, you don't even need to say it. Next time, I will spend the money on a damn GoPro, okay? We're here. All right. So, I decided lately that things were getting pretty bad, you know, with my mental health and everything. I'm thinking some really dark things, to be honest, to be completely honest. And it's time I started doing that, being honest. But, um, thinking some pretty dark stuff. So, the last time I took a vacation was last year, exactly one year ago, um, in Los Angeles. I had the time of my life. My passion for what I really love to do was reignited, but I learn now that I don't need to wait so long to take another vacation because all of that died, you know? So it's time for me to take another trip. It's my first time out of the country in Mexico City. And I came to have a good time. I came to everything that Rodney in Houston has to do, all of those responsibilities, all that, it doesn't exist here. So that's what I came for, mental clarity, and hopefully I'll I'll be able to get better, you know? Not better, that sounds weird, I'm not, you know. I hope I'll be able to revive my zest for life, you know? That's what I want to do. And I'll tell you what else is kind of weird when you're trying to escape your current reality. Running into one of your co-workers in the airport. Nothing better than that. Oh, my God. This is a nice, nice place. This is from the front door. This is coming from the front door, and this is the El Comedor. And to the left is the kitchen. This is nice. Are these real? No, of course not. Nikita um, Ngoma. I mean, here we have more. And here, I guess, is the the living room, yeah. The TV, it has, she told me it has Netflix and Amazon Prime on her account. So, but she said if I want to use mine, there's no problem. Which is very, it's very good, because I don't have one of either. <laughs> the bedroom, this is nice. Of course, the pictures in Airbnb made it look way bigger. And the open window, we're going to have to close that. Oh my god, and the bathroom. This bathroom is nice. Wow. I need water. No, let me tell you. The damn taxi driver. There's another door here. What if I can go out here? There's the damn taxi driver. Left me on the, the street was closed. And so the taxi driver told me to get out and he can't, he's not going to take me any further because the street was closed. So he didn't want to have to do a whole bunch of turns. Traffic was horrible. But he do, he left me on the street like a like an old Sonic cup, and told me I'd just have to walk the rest of the way. So that was about 12 minutes of walking. And there's two bathrooms in here. This is so nice. Anyway, yeah. So he told me to get out, and I'll have to walk. And yeah. So it was about 12 more minutes of walking, on top of the like 30 minutes drive it was it took to get here because traffic was horrible because they closed the street. So, that's it. Whew, so here, ooh, wait. So here we are. Con la señora. And here we are. I'm gonna get some water, and then I'm gonna go back out and start walking around. And start walking around to, you know. Phones, is this for me? Let's see, let's answer it. Should I answer it? I'm not gonna answer it. She has my cell number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 
no new messages. So, yeah. So I'm gonna get some water, take a little rest, and then I'm gonna go back out and start walking around. It is so busy out there. It is so busy. But I'm, I'm eager to get into it. I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. Mira, I went out of here to go walk like I said I was gonna do. But then, at one point I needed to look at Google Maps to see where the hell I was going because I was kind of lost. So I took my phone out of my pocket my credit card fell out. So I picked up my credit card. But then, when I got to the bank so I could get some cash, I reached in my pocket and where's my debit card? So I'm like, oh shit. So I've been walking around for at least the last hour looking for it on the ground, asking cops, have you seen this? Talking, I went to two banks to see if they could help me, even though I didn't have my card, I have my information, can you help me? I have an account from, an, uh, from another bank, and I just need to get some fucking cash. Can you help me? But nobody could help, not without the card. So, I've been walking around for the last hour, down the vueltas, around the block, around the cuadros. And when I got back here, I looked in this because I didn't want to take this, right? I didn't want to take this because it was a little obvious. My, sh my shirt is thin, and this is a little obvious under it, so if you're not going to reach for my pockets. You're going to reach for my, my this belt, right? So I didn't want to take that, so I just put my card, what I thought was my cards, in my pocket. Well, no. So, so I lost my, my debit card in fucking Mexico City. Which might as well be New York, by the way. Well, too many people, and it's loud and, and smelly. But, I got back here, and my fucking debit card was in that damn belt. It was in the money belt. I only put my credit card in my pocket. For what? Like, now I gotta go back out. I mean, I'm relieved. But now I gotta go the fuck back out, find some food, go back to the bank, find some... Like, man, we're not starting off well, Mexico. <laughs> not well at all. Here we are. I just got back from doing laps around this city. Uh, I'm supposed to sit at this table. Ooh, okay. I just got back from doing laps around this city. I'm tired. My back hurts. My legs hurt. But, yes, like I said, I thought I lost my debit card, but I, I have my debit card. So I was able to go get some cash to get something to eat. And you'll never believe what I got in Mexico. You'll never believe it. They're so rare. They're so rare that you can hardly find them anywhere. That's right here. Limon. Quack in a bag. They fold it up real nice like a Christmas present. But I got tacos. Uh, you'll never, that's, it's so weird to get in Mexico. They never get these here. I got tacos al pastor. Tacos al pastor. Al pastor. I'm starting to sound Mexican. Yeah. That's what I got. Um. Yeah, so tomorrow I have the bike ride through the city. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get down there because Uber won't take my fucking debit card. So I need to see if I can pay cash um, with the Uber or just have to, you know, walk an hour or take a taxi. I don't know. But Uber has done this before. Uber Eats. And Uber has done this before and it's severely aggravating because my card is valid. Clearly, if I was able to get cash out and get some food, my card is valid. So I, they're talking about it's against their terms and conditions. My Visa debit card that I use everywhere. Isn't that what they say? That's what they say in a commercial. You can use it everywhere. Apparently not on fucking Uber. I'm just aggravated. But anyway, yeah, we're going to eat. Walking around El Centro, like I said, it might as well El Centro. It's not El Centro. This it is El Centro. Centro de Ciudad Mexico. I feel like it might as well be New York. 
just it's just as dirty, just as crowded. But it's Spanish. If it weren't for all the Mexicans and the Spanish and the historical buildings, you would think it was a place like New York. Houston do downtown doesn't doesn't get like it's there's so much foot traffic. There, oof. There's so much foot traffic and there's people you're having to walk over, step over, walk around. Chad, they gotta, the budget is just, let's see how this tastes. Mi primera vez comiendo tacos directamente de Mexico. Mucho, pero, <coughs> uh, shit. Yes. <sighs> These tacos get it down. I usually don't eat pork either because of the sodium, but I didn't care today. These are good. tomorrow to um chronicle the bike ride and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to walk so I should take my I should have I'm gonna probably have to walk an hour to shit <coughs> to the meeting site because I don't know how I'm gonna get an uber uber's uber's awesome bullshit but yeah so I'll see y'all tomorrow